You star code GAMERGIRL whenever you're buying Roblox or Roblox Premium. Also check out my UGC and real life merch which is linked below in the description. Thank you! Hello gamers! Today we are going to be looking at the Helio answers for the 9 stories that are currently inside of the fountain. But before we get started, do make sure to follow me on social media. My Twitter handle is imagamegiri, my Instagram and TikTok handles are imagamegirl underscore it, and my Roblox username is imagamegiri. That's imagamegirl with the L and I switched. And so first of all, I do want to go over and use the fountain. This video did take a few days to make because the thing is, I thought there was supposed to be 16 stories at the fountain because that's the amount that were like picked out. But it appears that only nine of them are actually inside of the fountain. So at the moment, it's just nine. I'm presuming the other seven will come sooner or later. So when they do, I'll make like an updated, updated version of this video. That way you guys will have all of those Halo answers as well. Not really sure though like why that's even the case but anyways let's go over here and which story do i have okay i have the one about teddy zilla so i'm going to go and pick option b and did i win the halo it appears i didn't win the halo unfortunately but okay let's go and see what the after story says will i get diamonds at least he decided to track down the teddy and follow the trail of cupcake and cookie crumbs outside the school and all the way back to davinia park Finally, you find the teddy Zilla. He's sitting by the fountain about to eat his last cupcake. You shout, hey, drop that cupcake at him. And I got XP, yay, 80 XP. You know what? That's not too bad. But anyways, let's go over to the Excel file to go and look at all of the new Halo answers. In case anyone is new to the fountain, as you just saw, there are four different options that you are able to pick on each of the stories. And it's always either one or two of them that are able to win you the Halo. It's like a 0.1% something like that chance of winning it but the other two or three options aren't actually able to win you the halo on that story so it's really good to know the halo answers that way every time you use the fountain there's always a chance at being able to win the halo but anyways credits to all of these people over here that you can see on the left some of the halo answers and stuff were from twitter some of them were from youtube but anyways if we go over to the actual stories you can see first of all there is well i'm going to show the ones that like you've seen already and then i'll show you the other ones after you know what maybe i should do it the other way around no you know what i'm starting it like this i'm doing it like this okay so first of all there's the fall into fountain activity stand story and option a is the one that is able to win the halo on that you choose i believe it's the chocolate tasting stand on that story and then if you go on to the second story over here, it's the Cherub Cupid story, where Cupid is dejected slash sad. And option C is the one that is able to win you the Halo on there. You can also see a lost diamonds on that one. Oh my gosh, have I only had that one like once? Oh, <laughs> I feel like I've had it more than once. Maybe I just haven't been putting like the diamonds or whatever that I've gotten on all of them. But anyways, next is the Cupid crying on bench story, where you have the option to go and cheer up Cupid. And so option C is the one that is able to win you the halo on that story you can also see i got xp quite a few times from there and also from d i managed to win some diamonds and anyways if we go over to the penguin struggling with search story you can see option a is the one that's able to win you the halo on there if it's about a shore it's like to get him on the shore or something like that oh by the way for the cheer him up one i believe that's the one where you have to cheer him up and so you choose to spread valentine's magic and then the dejected slash sad one is where you have have the option to give a valentine's gift then anyways if we go over to the next story now it's festival tokens buy it stories so you have some festival tokens and you choose what to buy and option c is the one that's able to win the halo on there it says that you choose to buy a worn out valentina skirt i'm pretty sure that's what it said or a torn valentina skirt basically it mentioned the valentina skirt and, and that's able to win you the halo on there you can also see i managed to win xp from option a and so next there are two stories about roses they are pretty similar to each other the way how i'm able to tell them apart is that for one of them it's asking for a rose so it says like ask for red rose ask for pink rose and then the other one select one of the roses it just says like an adjective and then the color and then rose so the actual answers look different but i mean it doesn't matter too much anyway because option b is able to win you the halo on both of these stories you can also see i gained and lost diamonds on the ask for rose story with the tree nymph and i lost diamonds on option a 
and then over here you can see I also got XP from option B and option A gave me XP as well on the select one of the roses story. Now there is another tweet that I did find about these roses that I think is pretty interesting. It was posted by Kits Z. And so if you go and look at this over here, you can see this is someone that managed to win the halo because you can see the badge over here saying one comma bobs sparkle heart sparkle award. And so if you go and look at this, you can see it's purple, which means that option C was the one that was picked. And if you go and look at the after story, it says you gaze at the different flowers and wonder how many different species of blossoms exist. As you look over them, one flower catches your eye. Excuse me, what flower is this? You ask the shop worker. Unfortunately though, it does cut off there rather than showing the full story and I'm not 100% sure which of the flower stories this is because it mentions flowers. You gaze at the different flowers and it says one of them catches your eyes. So it's definitely one of these two stories. I just don't know which of the two it actually is, which is why I haven't included it on the actual Halo Answers thing. Maybe I'll be able to figure out at some point, but with just the first three lines of the story, I just am not quite sure which one it is. Because both of them mention flowers, and I don't remember either of them mentioning a shop worker either, so I don't know. I wish I could see the rest of the story and see what happened. That way I would know, but you know what? It doesn't matter too much anyway, because we know option B is able to win you the Halo on both of them. But anyways, if you go and look over here, you can see next is the Cupid's Arrows Falling story where Cupid's Arrows are falling down and option A is able to win you the Halo on there. And then finally, there's the Valentine's Street Treats Hungry Teddy Zilla story and option B is able to win you the Halo on there. You can see I lost diamonds on option B and got nothing from option A. Then anyways, that is the end of the video. I hope this was really helpful for you all. I will definitely be making an updated, updated version once the other seven stories appear in the fountain. They were supposed to be in the fountain already, so I'm not sure exactly what happened with that. But you know what? It doesn't matter too much. But anyways, that is the end of the video. Make sure you ring the bell to be notified. You like and subscribe. And Red pie.